must say the shades kind of smell a little bit weird and I know it's gonna look ridiculous right now but trust the process. <laughs> Did you guys think I was really gonna use the Nikki Tutorials palette and not use the red shade? Like Oh my god, this shade is everything. It just kind of looks a little bit naff. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. For today's video, I am so excited because I'm actually going to be testing out this little beauty right here. If you guys don't know what this is and you haven't seen the title, which you probably would have, this is the new Beauty Bay X Nikki Tutorials collaboration and I'm just so excited to get my hands on this. It's been a hot minute since I've done a beauty kind of like review video, so I thought why not do one and because I love Nikki Tutorials, I just had to get one of these. I personally get so excited whenever I see an influencer or a blogger or anything like that do a collaboration with a brand as big as Beauty Bay because it just kind of makes me realize that we are so much more than just here on YouTube. Like we can actually achieve things outside of YouTube as well. So I am very proud of Nikki and I think she has worked very very hard to make this product and I'm just so excited to put it on my face, try it out and even though I'm a big fan of Nikki tutorials I will not be biased in any way. I like to be really honest and transparent whenever I do these kinds of collaboration reviews. I was the same with the James Charles palette, so I hope you guys can enjoy this. And if you do want to pick up one of these palettes, hopefully this video will be helpful. If you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. But I guess without further ado, if you guys want to see me play around with the Nikki Tutorials X Beauty Bay palette, then let's get on into the video. Okay, so the palette comes in a beautiful box like this. Now, I have actually ordered this with my own money, but the one that has come, which is the one I'm holding in front of me, might be a PR parcel, I am not too sure. Simply because I ordered this online, I didn't think they would send it to me in PR, and basically my confirmation email from the one that I actually paid for has just said that it's only just been dispatched, whereas this one has already come, so I'm guessing this is the PR one. If it's not PR, then I have one extra Nikki Tutorials palette, which I'll probably be giving away on my Instagram, so make sure you guys head over there as well. But this is what the box comes like. Like. Now, this palette right here was £25, so let's see what we get for £25. Ooh, okay, so we have this really nice box. Inside it says, hey guys, it's me, Nikki, hello. Oh, that's so cute. That's like how she starts all her videos. Um, I can't believe the time has come to share my palette with the world. I truly can't wait to see the looks you create, so don't forget to tag at Nikki Tutorials and at Beauty Bay in your content. That is super cute. I love the box. I love all of the like illustrations on it. I'm a big illustration nerd. So this is really, really cool. The box has like this nice paper as well. So I'm guessing this might actually be the PR box. I'm not too sure. And then when you open it up, it has the palette inside. Let's take a look. Okay. It's not too heavy. I was kind of expecting it to be really heavy, but this is what it looks like. Just for size comparison, I have here my Roxy X Revolution Ride or Die palette. Now, this is basically like half of the Nikki Tutorials palette, so you could probably get two of those on here. So inside here, you get 25 different shades. Let's crack this open and see what the palette is like on the inside. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is so creative. I love this. So on the back, it says, I am beyond excited for you to finally see this. My palette in collaboration with Beauty Bay. I'm so grateful for this opportunity and this time we're doing it right for everybody. This palette truly showcases my life and personality. You guys know that I am all about bright and unique makeup looks, but this palette also shows a different darker side of me. I can't wait to see the looks you'll create from dark and mysterious to bold and uniquely you. This palette is my safe place, my temple, and this never would have happened without the support of my glow babies. I love you. Oh, that's really, really sweet so the palette comes in sort of like two different sides so it has the darker side with the darker sort of illustration it kind of looks like a graveyard there's like a tombstone that says makeup shamers <laughs> I love that and then the other side is like the happy chirpy kind of side of Nikki which I really like that concept so let's open this palette up here is what it looks like oh it's got the little plastic thing there we go, that is it. Oh my God, the shades are so unique and so beautiful. I am getting very, very excited by this. There's so many different shades in here. Like you can make so many different creative looks with this. I must say the shades kind of smell a little bit weird. They smell, maybe it's the packaging, but it smells a little bit like plasticky. Okay, so as soon as I opened up the palette, I was just obsessed 
with the red shade, the yellow shade. I love all of these metallic kind of shimmery shades. I mean, look at this one. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I haven't actually prepared a look for this video. I'm just kind of gonna wing it and play around with all these shades and just see what we come up with really. So the palette actually comes with two different mirrors. It has this mirror here, which is like a regular mirror. And then this mirror here is a magnifying mirror, which I think is really, really cool. There's a few shades in here that I probably won't see myself using as often, probably like this one or this one and this one, but every other shade in here, I can pretty much imagine myself using in one way or another. I feel like you could totally do a neutral look with just this side of the palette as well, because there's quite a few nice sort of transition shades and stuff in there. So I guess now that I've talked you guys through the whole palette, I guess let's just get this on our face. I'm so excited, let's do it. So the first shade I'm gonna be taking is the shade Slasher. Now, the reason why I'm taking this one is because I kind of want to challenge myself. I just said that I probably wouldn't get that much use out of it, so I'm gonna challenge myself to actually use it. I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna be bold, just like Nikki, and I'm just going to tap that into my outer crease. Oh my gosh, this is so pigmented. Wow, okay, tiny bit definitely goes a long way with this shade, you guys. Wow, this shade is very opaque and there's a very minimal fallout. And considering how hard purples are to formulate, this is actually really nice and opaque. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye and I know it's gonna look ridiculous right now, but trust the process. Oh my gosh, that is just so gorgeous. It's such a rich and pigmented color. I'm now gonna blend this in slightly with this color right here, which is like a really nice matte pink kind of shade. It's called Blend and Snap. What I've noticed about these shades so far is that you definitely need like the tiniest amount to pick up on your brush. You don't need a lot and it definitely goes a long way. Oh my God, that is just so gorgeous. Can you guys see how quickly and easily that blended? I'm actually shook. This is blending so easily. What the actual hell? I've just brought you guys in a little bit closer because I felt like you guys were really far away, but but I hope you guys can see everything. Literally, this is such a beautiful eye makeup so far. Like the blend of the purple and the pink is seamless. Like it was so easy. The next shade I'll be reaching for is this shade right here, which is shade Redemption. And I'm gonna be popping this in my inner sort of corner of my eye. And again, obviously trying to blend that into the purples and the pinks. <gasps> That is just so, so pigmented. I must say, shades like this, any sort of oranges or yellows are usually quite hard, again, to get the pigment to be there, especially on like the first tap. So I've gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with this orange shade, Redemption. I'm just going to try and blend that into the pinks and the purples. I must say now, upon kind of blending this in further, it is kind of picking off a little bit of that orange. Maybe this is down to the fact that I have set my lid and not left it like tacky with concealer. It's quite a powdery shade compared to that pink, which isn't an issue, but it's just something to know. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side as well and just really try and blend this orange out. I'm just going back in with the purple shade Slasher and I'm just going over that transition of the orange and the purple again, because we kind of lost that purple pigment with the orange over the top. Okay, that is really easy to blend out actually. I am very impressed so far. Okay, up next, you guys are not gonna guess what shade I'm gonna take next. It's that one, of course. Did you guys think I was really gonna use the Nikki Tutorials palette and not use the red shade? Like, this shade is called Mikai and oh my gosh. Like the tiniest little touch and it's already bright red. Well, I guess, I mean, it is a red shade, but you know what I'm trying to say? It's like so pigmented with just like one tiny tap. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna try and kind of blend it in right here by my lash line and kind of blend it upwards towards that orange shade to make it kind of like a hot orange kind of shade. Oh my God, this shade is everything. I'm gonna try and blend it into the purple as well. Just gonna do the same thing to the other side as well and just kind of blend that into the orange as well as the purple. All right, so now that my red shade is in place, I'm gonna take this yellow shade, which is VLA. I don't know what that stands for. Maybe I'm just really, really stupid, but this is such a beautiful like lemon, bright neon kind of yellow. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just going to blend this into my inner corner. Ooh, 
That is really pretty. That is so vibrant. Oh my God, I'm actually obsessed with this. This is so, so vibrant and pigmented. I feel like it doesn't really need it, but I'm gonna build it up with a few layers just to kind of really get it popping. I really wanna try one of these shimmery shadows. So I'm gonna take the shade Ivy and just with a light hand, I'm gonna pop that over the yellow to kind of give it a little bit of shimmer. Hmm. It's not really working with this kind of pencil brush, which I'm surprised about. I don't really know why, but it's like barely picking it up. Mm. It's got like the tiniest few sparkles, but it's not really working that great. Can you guys see that? Is that even showing up? I feel like this sort of pencil brush isn't actually the right kind of brush to use for this shade. I mean, it's a shame that it doesn't work because this is like my favorite brush to use for my inner corner. I'm gonna try and apply that inner corner shade with a different brush. Oh yes. That is working so much better now. It needs one of those like flat, sturdy, hard kind of brushes to apply it. Otherwise, it kind of just disappears in the brush. Oh yeah, that is so pretty now. Can you guys see it? Just adds that tiny little sparkle. I'm living for it. Now moving on to my lower lash line, I'm gonna take the light blue shade called Plot Twist and I'm gonna be applying that sort of towards my inner half of my eye. I don't really know if this is gonna show up because it is such a light color. I feel like it's one of those colors that would only really look good if you applied it over like a cut crease when your base is actually wet or really, really light in color because right now I'm applying it and it just kind of looks a little bit naff. So I think instead I'm gonna move on to the shade Amsterdam, which is this one. And I'm just gonna to go to town. I'm gonna to apply this all over my lower lash line. Okay, are we ready? This could ruin the look or this could make the look. I guess we will see. <laughs> Okay, it's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. It's quite a patchy shade, so I think you have to kind of go over it a few times. Ooh, actually, using the shade Plot Twist, the blue one, it works really well if you're using it over the blue shade Amsterdam. As you guys can see, I've managed to kind of lighten it towards my inner corner, which I think looks pretty good now. Okay, so with that last blue shade, I did get a tiny bit of fallout, which has definitely kind of ruined my under eyes. So I'm just gonna go in with some concealer and touch that up. I should have probably done my base last, but you live and learn. Okay, the very last eyeshadow step of this look is gonna be adding this gorgeous shimmery blue shade. I just can't do this tutorial without using that. It's calling my name. And this is in the shade Mama Tutorials. So I'm gonna pick that up on a very flat brush because as we've gathered, the shades, especially the shimmer ones, don't really pick up as well on like a fluffy brush. So I'm just gonna apply that on the lower lash line right in the center underneath my pupil just to add a little bit of sparkle there. So as this makeup look is quite dark and heavy, especially on like the lower part of my eye, I'm I'm just gonna pop some of this white liner on the very lower lash line to kind of bring a bit of brightness back in there. So I've just finished lining my waterline with the white liner and I feel like that's definitely kind of brought the look together and really lightened and brightened up my eye. And now to finish off the look, all I'm gonna do is just line my eyes with a liquid liner and also apply some lashes and I'll be right back to let you guys know my final verdict of this palette. guys and here is the finished look i am just obsessed with this palette i think my final verdict is that it's definitely worth a buy i mean considering this was only 25 pounds you get such premium and pigmented shadows in here it's actually kind of crazy most of these shades perform super well on my eyes i mean look how well they blended all together considering they're such different shades from each other i think this palette would be really easy for beginners who want to play with color because it really isn't hard work to blend any of these shades together i think because there's so many different shade choices in here I feel like there's something for everyone because I mean there's literally every color of the rainbow in here so overall I would say this palette is definitely Roxy approved I really really enjoyed using it and I feel like I got very creative which I definitely haven't done in a long time so yeah that is it for this review I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you guys like this look and also if you like the palette will you be purchasing it will you not let me know if you guys want to see me do more makeup videos like this let me know in the comments below and also give this video a huge thumbs up so I know. If you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you guys do. I would love to have you here. It's just that red button down below. Come and join the dinosaur family. But that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.